Shalom. All praises due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kwadash. Double honor to the elect apostle bishops, elders at Great Millstone, every well. Shalom to like Aki out there doing this work in sincerity and truth and not for vain glory in season, out of season. All right, brothers, uh, let's, let's get right to it. Uh, this is Ezekiel, the 39th chapter in the 14th verse. Okay. So it says, And they shall sever out men of continual employment, passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it after the end of seven months shall they search. So it says, and they shall sever out men of continual employment. So um, that's talking about the uh, wicked elite, okay? The international banking small hats, okay? Um, you know, all that's ruling the earth, you know, as far as uh, Esau, okay? All right, and the other heathen, and the uh, kings and queens of the other heathen nations as well. But I'm focusing on the international banking small hats as the Rothschilds, uh, the um, the uh, Bilderbergs, the Duponts. You know, all the elite rich banking families. Okay, because um, they're going to escape this nuclear war. They're going to escape that nuclear war. OK, they're not going to get burned up by those nuclear missiles. OK, which is the third world war. So, you know, after. Everything is said and done after the nuclear missiles are detonated on America and America shoots nuclear missiles on certain other parts of the other world, like Russia and certain other other nations in Israel as well, being hit by nuclear missiles. You know, in that third world war, all the nations are going to be fighting each other. When Yahweh Shai come to deliver his elect, you're going to have the, interna the international banking families, the Rothschilds, uh, Rockefellers, so forth, Bilderbergs, Oppenheimers, DuPonts, and so forth, the kings and queens, all right, of uh, these other heathen nations as well as Esau, they're going to be burying those bodies, man. OK, that's on the, that's going to be buried in the in those wars that they're going to be having with each other and brought in the third world war in the other lands, because America is going to be completely destroyed. So it's talking about the other lands. OK, that's not completely destroyed by those nuclear missiles, you know, and they're going to have to bury those bodies, man. OK, so that's going to be. Uh, one of their many jobs that they have to fulfill. OK, and they who's the they the international banking small hats shall sever out men. It says, and they shall sever out men of continual employment. You see what I'm saying? So Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going at these heathen nations. OK, um, burying these bodies, man, because the law is you got to bury these bodies, man. OK. All right. You can't leave a body out. You have to bury those bodies, you know, and that's going to be one of the job of uh, these international banking small hats. You know, Queen Elizabeth, she's going to be brought back from the grave by the power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai to be judged. And she's going to get her judgment and she's going to be one of them people, um, you know, burying those bodies, man. Because one of the young brothers said uh, in Atlanta, the young brothers from the Atlanta camp, he said the um, the first hired and the never fired. You know, OK, so like you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you're the last last hired. I mean, you're the last hired and the first fired. OK, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Esau from international banking, small hats. The kings and queens of uh of Esau and the other heathen nations, 
okay? They're going to be the uh, first hired and the never fired, okay? Because they got a job to do, all right? Okay? To bury those bodies, man, that's in them other heathen nations of that Third World War, okay? All right? It says, they shall sever out men of continual employment, continual employment. Just how the so-called white man has Esau, I mean, has you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in continual employment, working on these jobs, getting paid nothing, you know? You know, certain jobs you get paid on um, how many boxes you stack up or you get paid off a of commission, so you got to work extra hard. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans built America up, man. Okay, so the so-called white man, he going to have continual employment. I'm talking about the kings and queens and the regular peon so-called white people. But the first fruits of slavery is going to be who? You elite banking families. You elite small hat banking families. All right. Passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth. To cleanse it after the end of seven months shall they search. Okay. So let's go to another scripture. Let's go to uh, Joshua, the ninth chapter and the 27th verse. All right. All right. Okay. The book of Joshua. Uh, ninth verse. I mean, ninth chapter. The book of Joshua, the ninth chapter in the 27th verse. Okay. It says, um, and Joshua, which was an Ephraimite back then, he was one of the 12 tribes of Israel that Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai brought up after Moses had died. And Joshua made them. That day, hewers of wood and drawers of water for the congregation and for the altar of the Lord Yahweh, even unto this day in the place which he should choose. Okay, so this is talking about the, um, well, let me read, uh, let me read the 26th uh, verse. And he did, and so did he unto them. And delivered them out of the hand of the children of Israel that they slew them not. Yeah, you know, you're going into the Canaanites. Okay, Philistines and so forth. All right. You know, when you read into it, this was when uh, Joshua was coming into the Holy Land, getting those, those Canaanites up out of the Holy Land, which is Israel. And this is what he made them. Okay. All right. Okay, so you can read the whole uh, chapter. All right. You can read it and go into, you know, the Hivites, you know, these different Hamite uh, nations. Okay. So this is just uh, a future. Uh, this is just a future. Um, uh, a of a future forerunner of what these heathen nations gonna have to do. They're gonna serve Israel as slaves. Okay? They're gonna serve you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites as slaves. Okay. It says, and so did he unto them and delivered them out of the hand of the children of Israel that they slew them not. So these are the ones that the, the sons of Israel didn't slay didn't put to death. And Joshua made them that day hewers of wood and drawers of water, which is slavery. Okay? Which is slavery. All right? If you hewing wood and you drawing water, that's laborious work, man. Okay? Drawing water is laborious work. Hewing hewing wood is laborious work, man. You may have to walk miles to get the wood. You may have to walk miles to get the water, man, and carry that all the way back for the congregation, for the congregation of Israel, and for the altar of Yahweh, 
and unto this day in the place which he should choose. Yeah, man. So this is just a forerunner of what these heathen nations are going to have to do, including, see, these are so-called Africans, but Esau going to serve, going to serve slavery too. All right. Let me go to Judges 5 and 11. Judges the fifth chapter and 11th verse. Show you that that represents, uh, he was a wood and draws of water represents slavery. Uh, Judges 5th chapter and 11th verse. Okay. It says, They that are delivered from the noise of arches, which are the nuclear missiles, when the, the uh, elect Israelites of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's beamed up on them chariots when them nuclear missiles come and destroy America, all of America. In the places of drawing water, which is uh, you so-called Negroes, uh, 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 West Indians, so-called Haitians, you, you native, you Latinos and Native Americans serving slavery under the so-called white man here in America. So it said he made them, he was a wood and drawers of water. So that's talking about slavery. In the places of drawing, of drawing water, which is America, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh. Yahweh, okay? Let's talk about America. Now, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. What, what are the righteous acts we're rehearsing? The law, statutes, and commandments, not to commit adultery, not to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, to, to honor the Sabbath, to remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy, okay? You know, um, um, doing the Passover, doing the Day of Atonement, so forth, okay? All right? You know? So that's what that represents slavery. He was of he was of wood and drawers of water. Okay, so we we had to be uh, drawers of water, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans to the so called white man, and even the heathen nations back in the ancient world to an extent now. Okay, so they gonna be he was of wood and drawers of water. They are gonna go into slavery under you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans which are the Israelites under Yahweh Shai. All right? And our King David. And above David is going to be Yahweh Shai, the king of kings. All right? Okay? So uh, let me go to, um, what is this? Isaiah 49 and 23. Let me go there. Isaiah 49 and 23. Isaiah 49 and 23. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Isaiah 49 and 23. It says, <coughs> And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. Hey, man, there you go. They're going to be our slaves, man. They're going to minister unto us. The kings of the earth, Esau, okay, which are the international banking small hats, they're kings on the earth, man. The Queen Elizabeth, uh, the Prince Charles, <laughs> you know, you know, all right, okay, uh, Salakia. Let me go back. Okay. All right. It says, it says, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. So they're going to administer unto the nation of Israel. Okay. Which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. You see? So it's going to be continuous employment, man. Okay? They're going to administer to Yahweh Shai, David, King David, and the nation of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the men and the women of, of the nation of Israel. You see? 
It says, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. Yeah, man, so Queen Elizabeth, the queen, you know, the, the one that just uh, got her uh, TV turned off, okay? All right? She's going to be what? She's going to be administering to the nation of Israel as a slave, all right? And the rest of these heathen nations, uh, Ham, the Japheth, what, what was the king? Or queen in this earth, man, of these heathen nations, man. All right. Okay, just want to go to Isaiah 14 and 1. All right. It says. For the Lord. Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, which are the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yet choose Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And set them in their own land, which is the land of Israel. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay. Which are the Israelite foreigners. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh which is in Israel, for servants and handmaids, servants, slaves, okay? And they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, okay? You know? So I hope you've been edified, and with that, Shalom.